What's up? It's Emma Amazing, and this week's video is me talking about the Disney canon, which is basically why I review some Disney movies versus others. I don't. The Disney canon is the Disney animated movies that count. So why do some Disney animated movies count and some don't? Well, first, they have to be Disney, which means no Shrek or Kung Fu Panda which is DreamWorks, and no Warner Brothers, like Bugs Bunny and Porky Pig. Okay, so why do some Disney movies not count? Well, first of all, the animated canon means animated movies. So that means movies that are almost completely animated. Fun and Frenzy Free is on this list because it only has a little bit of live action to set up the animation. Mary Poppins isn't on this list because it's almost completely live action. It's only a little bit of animation. Song of the South isn't on here because... Because. Second of all, this has to be animated by Disney Animation Studios, which confuses a lot of people. No Pixar, Toy Story, Wally, Inside Out, they're all Pixar. There's also no Disney tune, which means no goofy movies or direct videos, like the horrible sequels. And lastly, I'm just gonna touch on the phases of Disney. The first golden age started at the beginning with Snow White to the Second World War. Then they had the package features, which were the first Dark Age. They were cheaper to make, but they kept the studio alive. Once the war was over, they started making features again, which started with Cinderella and led right up to Jungle Book, where Walt died. That brings us to the second Dark Age, which we're in the middle of reviewing. These movies were less memorable, cheaper to make, and just all over crappy. For example, next week, we're going to do Fox and the Hound which led up until Michael Eisner came in for CEO. He brought up the quality, starting with The Little Mermaid, which led us straight through till Tarzan. The quality starts to drop off quick. This is when we had movies like Chicken Little, Home on the Range, and Bolt. Finally, Eisner got fired and came in Bob Iger. He brought in John Lasseter, starting with Princess and the Frog and Rapunzel, it became the third golden age, which we're in the middle of. So that's the Disney canon, guys. Because we're about... We're in the middle of reviewing. We're at 26, and we need to get to 55. I'm want? excited to review those, but we're going to have to tackle Fox and the Hound next week. So remember to like, subscribe, and stay amazing. Bye, guys!